When we were here last, we helped build the roofing and cleaned out the cow shed. But Evans need to make sure that the housing is cleaned daily so that the cows are comfortable and do not get mastitis. It is also important he use the highest hygiene standards when milking his cows. It seems this is where he needs improvement. I have been existed from 25 almost to 30 now. Evans who's getting 25 liters has managed to go up to 30 liters and he has a calf as well. And we also focused on deworming. They look good because uh, you can see it now he has dewormed them. In the previous visit, we also trained Evans on deworming. He has kept it up and the cows are warm free. The expert is pleased with this. What else have you noticed from your observation? Uh, the cows, where they are, is not very clean. I've also noted that the watering point is not very clean. So why is hygiene important when it comes to cow management? If a cow is not comfortable, then you are going to get uh, low production and it is going to pose a threat for mastitis. Do you know about mastitis? Yes, they are affected me a lot. Really? Yeah, both of these two, the they production mastitis. have gone down. Yeah. So sorry to hear that. What else? Even one teeth has no production. One is blocked. Uh, one is blocked from each cow. Whoa. Kanye, what is mastitis? Uh, mastitis is a disease that is caused by bacteria and uh, it is a disease that reduces the production. So you get a cow which is going to be removed from the herd when it's not supposed to. It uh, leads to alicaring. And also, you get very high cost of treatment, treating mastitis. I called a doctor. It cost me almost per cow 3,000. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. Whoa, that's a huge loss. It's mm. a huge loss. Mm. And finally, if it is acute mastitis, cow might die. So, Kanye, how do farmers prevent mastitis? We say prevention is better than cure. Okay. And the process of doing this is, one, you have to maintain very, very high levels of hygiene. You have to clean the shed every day. You remove all the cow dung. And also, you are using the mattress. You must clean the mattresses every day using clean water. Mastitis is expensive to treat. It reduces production as cows may lose some of the milking quarters. It may also force you to get rid of the milk producing cows or even cause death. The symptoms for mastitis are swelling of the udder, heat and redness, hardness, or the milk may appear watery and will have blood clots or pus. The cows need a cleaner home, so time to get them shipped up. Clean up time! We started with the floor, then the water troughs. And finally, the mattresses. Once cleaned up, you must disinfect. When you are disinfecting, use cooperside to disinfect. You mix cooperside with water. That is 25 mils of uh, cooperside in 10 liters of water. Then you do the spraying. You spray all over. You spray the floor. You spray the milking parlor. And also you spray the, the mattresses. Okay. Then by doing that, then you are going to get rid of the bacteria that causes mastitis from the environment, that is the housing. Remember, keep the shed, the sleeping area, and the others clean and disinfected. Use Cooperside at 25 milliliters to 10 liters of water to disinfect. Now that the shed is clean and disinfected, what next? Ensure that when you milk, use medicated milking salve, because also it is going to help in killing the bacteria that causes mastitis. Okay. Also, ensure the milking technique that you're going to use. Make sure that you milk very fast okay. and also make sure that you empty the udder as much as possible. When milking infected cows, milk quickly to avoid discomfort. Use a separate milking cloth for each cow. Also, ensure that the infected milk does not spill on the floor. Throw away the infected milk. Then after milking, you use mastrite. Using a teat dip cup provided, then uh, you mix one part of mastrite to two parts of water. 
I don't know about the heat dip. How can I use this one? You ensure that uh, you have mixed the right quantities here. Yeah? Okay. Then, when you close this one like this, okay. you just press a bit. This one is a non-return deep cup. The only amount that you require, it is the one that comes here on top. You ensure that all the teeth, you dip them in the solution of mustrite and water. And if Evans does all what you have said, what will the results be? You are going to increase the production, and you are going to smile as you go to the bank to get the money. He's already smiling. Okay. Yes. <laughs>